Remember the last time when I told you that the Mothership Core was the most hated unit? Well, to be honest, there is another really strong competitor, and that's Infested Terran. This unit that could only be summoned by Infestors lasted for almost a decade before being eventually removed from the game. And today we'll dive into its story and we'll see why it was OP. Let's start with some crazy stuff that was in the beta. Infested Terrans could actually be created by Overseers, but the issue here was blatant. Overseers don't take up any army supply, so creating a hailstorm with Infested Terrans would be possible for any match you play. And the ability was transferred to Infestors. In 2010 and 2011, Infested Terrans were pretty common, but Zerg players didn't unleash their true power yet. Some players as Destiny would use them to harass. More spine crawlers and then the four fester hit squad. Four fester hit squad is the most dangerous group of harassers known to Zerg kind. Time to send in the four fester hit squad to find out. Go! Oh shit, he's got a hive! Nuke it! Nuke it! Nuke it! Nuke it! Oh, get out, get out, get out! But most players use them for direct late game engagements. But since it was difficult for Zerg players to survive till the late game stage with mass brutalers and infestors, infested turns weren't seen as much of a problem. But everything changed with a one single patch that increased Queen's strength in the early game. You might ask me, what does Queen have to do with infested turns? Well, it's simple. Now Zerg players had a reliable early game, and getting to the late stage wasn't a problem at all. Hence, you would often see infestors and brutalers. I explained that problem in details in this video, check it out if you haven't yet. So Infested Terrans became a backbone for the Zerg army at that stage. The problem here is simple, they don't really cost any resources, they are free and you can trade them with surprisingly good efficiency. In addition to that, Infested Terrans could be upgraded with range and carapace, making them even stronger. However, at the same time, at that stage of the game, they were pretty much irreplaceable. Zerg had zero tools to deal with Skytos because you couldn't yoink them with wipers, so you had to rely on free infested Terrans to trade them for cheap interceptors. However, Blizzard attempted to nerf them by disabling upgrades and thus making them sufficiently weaker against full upgraded targets, and it kinda worked for the next few years, but the whole Zerg army supply was anyway occupied by swarm hosts in Hut of the Swarm and their free locus. And you can check out the story in my video, but in short, as a result, everybody kind of forgot about Infested Terrans as meta became completely different. And things changed once again with Legacy of the Void. Swarm hosts were nerfed and Blizzard were making Skytos a lot more viable with many carrier and interceptor changes, and the meta was slowly returning to what it used to be several years ago. To compensate for Zerg's poor air forces, Infested Terrans were significantly buffed once again, and it only created problems once more. There was an obvious game design issue. Having a very reliable, free, all-purpose unit that could deal with both air and ground forces basically made Zergs produce only mass infestors. This was the only way to play with them, because infested terrans didn't have a golden mean. If you create only a couple of them, they are not that useful, so you really have to mass produce infestors to create a gigantic infested terran army. And this is something that Blizzard always tried to avoid happening in their games. Starcraft 2 army composition shouldn't be binary and too simple, and it should consist of multiple units that fill multiple roles to complement each other. With Infested Terrans, your army composition was straightforward, boring, and also too cost-efficient. And I cannot describe that problem better than a Redditor named GT Sovereign. His message is a true eye-opener, and it really reflects well on how StarCraft 2 is supposed to work in multiplayer and esports. So, in November 2019, Infested Terrans were removed from the game completely. Picking numbers couldn't help them, and it was a bad design choice that unfortunately had to go down that way. Of course, this change created a new set of problems. Zerg players, especially at a lower level, had a harder time dealing with Skytos, but it was all sorted out in the next three years with different changes and tweaks for Protoss and Zerg race. And that's it for today. Check out other deleted stuff from StarCraft 2. And as usual, have a nice day and see you next time.